always had a thing for sea creatures, and this web-footed water freak is no exception. A fresh spin on the classic Gill Man, this guy is one of my favourites from the underrated Connectors line from Matchbox. <laughs> Connectors were also released in America by Ertl under the admittedly much better name Socket Poppers and in Europe by Giochi Preziosi who, on their packaging, decided to give the characters names. So on the Euro packs, you can see that this guy is called Atlantide. Translating that from Italian to English gets you Atlantis. So, not the most original name, but still slightly better than Dr. Dracula? The main selling point of connectors, or socket poppers, was the ability to pop off the limbs and head of your figure and swap them with any of the other characters in the line to create your own mashed up monstrosity. I'm going to cover the series in more detail in another video because there's some other great figures in there, but for now I'm going to concentrate on my fish faced friend. I love the design. Anyone with an inexplicable mutated tentacle for an arm is up there for me. As confirmed by the similarly excellent Turtles figure Worm, who came out around the same time, random tentacle limbs are an absolute winner. The bright silvery blue colour makes him really eye catching and complements his fish scaled appearance. The red seaweed stands out nicely, and looking closer, it appears to actually be an inherent part of him, running through his body like veins, which is pretty sick. The head sculpt is fantastic. It stays true to the classic Gill Man, but his bulging cartoon eyes and gaping purple, kind of half smiling mouth give him a truly deranged look. One quick glance at this face leaves you in no doubt. This guy will thoroughly enjoy dragging you to your watery death. There's loads of nice details, from the suckers on his tentacle to the countless warts that kind of look like bubbles and really adds to the aquatic vibe. He even has a stumpy little dorsal fin, which might just about break the water, like a tiny shark if he was swimming near the surface. There's not too much I'd choose to improve on Atlantide. If the paint application had just a couple more colours, so the bubbly warts and the suckers were a different shade, maybe? But overall, I love this guy. He's great fun. Leave a comment and let me know what you think of Atlantide. And please like, share and don't forget to subscribe for regular vintage goodness.